we love you, Jesus. We love you so much, God. You're a mighty God. We're so grateful for what you're doing. We love you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you know what? It is so amazing to gather together. Good evening, Glad Tidings family. We're so happy you're here. And to those online, we love you, we pray for you, and we want you to know that we feel like you are right with us. Even though you're on the other side of that camera, we are together in spirit. And we're together because we believe that God is up to something. Am I only the only one that's feeling that? Oh, no, we all know. Let's just give him a hand and praise one more time. We just praise you, God. We thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, I've got a couple of really important things. First of all, Youth Barbecue Monday, August 23rd at 6 p.m. Boy, I'll tell you what, these barbecues and our youth, our youth are getting on fire for Jesus. Is that not amazing? That is so amazing. They're gathering together. Their spirits are getting stronger. Every time we have one, it just gets a little bit higher and a little bit higher. And so all youths, remember, August 23rd at 6 p.m., be there. It's important for your future. And then also, ladies and gentlemen, we just want you to know that this is the house of prayer. It's God's house. It's our Father's house. And it's his house of prayer. And so we're just feeling this incredible push from the Holy Spirit to pray more. We're just, I mean, we're just really feeling it. It's confirmation coming from place to place to place. And so we just want to extend this to you. Because, you know, nothing really happens in our lives if it doesn't start with prayer. True? Every miracle starts with prayer. Every breakthrough starts with prayer. Every new level starts with prayer. So we as a church are going to pray at 9.30 on Sunday mornings down in the lower auditorium. 9.30. We're coming together and we are going to pray before the service. And I can guarantee you, you can take it to the bank. When we pray, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Well... Let's just get back into that worship. Let's just love Jesus together. Girls, you guys are, you're really doing it. I mean, I'm into it. <laughs> Go for it. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah.
Give him thanks. Come on, everybody. Come on, give him thanks. Hallelujah. Stay right. Stay right here on this anointed song. Stay right here. I just want to tell the Lord something from my heart publicly. God, thank you. Lord, thank you. The Pastor Jody Ann and I get to be at Glad Tidings. With all of our heart, there's no place we'd rather be than here. Anywhere on the planet. God, I want to thank you. I want to come back and thank you. Many of you here just need to thank God for what he's done in your life. You need to thank him right now 
for what he's done with all of your heart girls sing it give thanks to the holy one oh. to the King of Kings by our tithes and offerings. If the ushers would please um, serve our people, give everyone an envelope, give me a moment to compose myself. <laughs> God is so good. Philippians 2.13, for it is God who works in you. God works in us. He works in us, both to will and to do his good pleasure. Staying on this theme of thank you, God, we just thank you that you work in us, that you do things for us. For our wonderful family online, we prayed for you tonight. Before the service, we got together. We prayed for you. We pray that God would bless you, strengthen you, and take things off of you, just like we pray for this congregation. 
that God would strengthen you, take things off of you, that he would bless you. You can give through the website on e-transfer, 3456 Fraser Street, Vancouver, BC, V5V4C4. Drop it in the mail. Come by. Drop it in our slot. It's never enough for the goodness that he's given us. He's only asked 10%. And for somehow, that doesn't seem like enough. Stand with me. Is our custom we raise our offering or we raise our hands? Yes. Father, I pray you bless these beautiful people. That you would strengthen them that you would give them their heart's desire, that you would work in them and bless them in Jesus' name. Bless this offering, multiply it. We thank you for the privilege of worshiping you in our tithes and offerings. Ushers, if you would just serve the people. Yes. Come on, lift your voice as we give you thanks, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, we give you thanks, God. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's this house. There's something about it this place. We're going to have some some incredible people come here. And I believe they're going to preach like they've never preached before because of this house. Hallelujah. I believe they're going to get a deposit. I believe they're going to send us an offering for me letting them come. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody get some faith in the house. Hallelujah. Can I come again? Oh, 20 grand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stand with me tonight. It's such a privilege. Sunday, did we almost get raptured? Did we almost get raptured? Come on, somebody help me. Did we almost get raptured on Sunday? There was such a move of God. I didn't want to get raptured right then because I felt like I would have forgot my teeth on the earth. I mean, God moved in this place. I have to tell you something that moved my heart. There was a little baby that's now about one and a half, and they said, oh, that was a COVID baby. I said, okay. But at the end of the service, the baby, it was a wonderful baby with a dipping diaper. How many know what that is? Had a diaper, just kept dipping and dipping, dipping the diaper and dipping the diaper. And the baby began to clap the hands and lift the hands and worship God. And it was real. And I thought, I said to myself, if that baby could teach some of the people, come on, in the, in the place, the dipping diaper baby, this beautiful baby, and then... The worship stopped, and the baby went like this. Come on, everybody do it with me right now. Holla. The baby just was up there. Come on now. We're not done praising him. I need some dipping, diaping babies. Okay, We're not done worshiping Jesus in this place. This is a house of praise and worship. Hallelujah. People are delivered, set free, healed, and delivered. And some of you are even to get that stone-looking face off you. Come on, somebody. Smile, somebody. Say, God is so good. Come on, everybody. God is so good. He's so good. Hey, good report. The people are just giving to missions. 
This is the time to be a part of Glad Tidings and Missions. They emailed me and they said, oh, pastor, we have $45,000 in the missions account. Come on, everybody. No, give, give yourself a hand. That's you. That's from your heart. They're just saying, hey, this came in and that came in and this came in and this has happened. The offerings went up and this went in. I go, yeah. Hallelujah. My father's house is a house of prayer. Look at Sunday mornings, we're having close to 50 praying at 9.30. Here's my goal. The day of Pentecost, whatever. I want 121. They had 120. Come on, everybody, help me. I want 121. Hallelujah. If you could, it's my father's house. If you could come at 9.30, I don't want to nag you. But it is his house. And it is a house of prayer. And if we could just come in, it is not a sleep time. It's not a time to check your iPhone. Come on, somebody. It's a time, I'm telling you, it's moving. The glory of God is in there. Can we be a 121 Sunday morning prayer church? Come on, everybody, 121, hallelujah. Glory to God. I, 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 I'm really happy certain people aren't here tonight. Because this isn't milk or mush, this is meat tonight. Not milk or mush, it's real. How, how, many, how many can say, just pat me on the back, uh, give me the real food, come on everybody, hallelujah, come on everybody, say give me the real food. Tonight will be another level of the word of God. Is that all right with everybody? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So there's certain people, they just want jollies, they just want to live on candy. How many want to live on the real thing? Hallelujah. Go ahead and be seated tonight in the house of the Lord. Thank you so much, worship team. Girls, what is your problem? Girls, what are your problem? Hallelujah. The rooftop, just hear this for a second. 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 2. Listen to the word of God. You've got to hear the word of God. It says, on the roof of the king. Very important. Whatever palace you have, whatever success you have, whatever house, car, money, job, position you have, it's not yours. It says here, even though he was the king, it says on the rooftop, look at the word, of the king. David forgot his little trip to get there. Number one, remember he was on the backside of the desert living in obscurity and the prophet of God called him. Think about the obscurity of your life where you couldn't find your way, you didn't know how you'd get there and God got you. He came and got you. You were just a kid, no one believed in you, but God came and got you. You had a dream for your business, come on somebody, and God opened the door. Number one, he lived in obscurity. Now where is he? He's on the roof, what? Of the king, not his roof. Watch the next one. This is fascinating. Number two, he had the greatest victory of his life beating something that no one in Israel could beat called Goliath. The greatest victory. A boy fought a monster skilled, undefeated, and beat him. I wonder the areas where God gave you victory. I'm gonna ask you tonight and even at home, how many of you God has given victories in the areas where you should have lost? You should have lost, but you won. Let me just take another moment. Number three, God put his oil and made him a king. God made him the king. God put oil on a kid and made him a king. The beauty of your life, the fragrance of your life, the healing of your life is the oil that came from God to make you something you couldn't have been. Listen to the next one. God put him in a castle in a city named after him. God put him in the castle. I want to let you know in private I'm afraid of this place. The anointing is so high in this church that I am not a good enough preacher. 
I am not smart enough. I am not gifted enough. And I just say, oh, God. And everything we touch, God's blessing. Everything. Because it's his city, it's his house, it's his kingdom. You better hear me tonight. Because some of you think it's your kingdom, it's your thoughts, it's your words, it's your personality, it's your war chest, it's your gifting. You better get off the roof. Somebody help me tonight. Get off the roof. Now watch this. On the rooftop. It's a dangerous place. Oh, pastor, pray for my business and pray for my new job and pray for this and pray this goes through. It's a dangerous place. David found himself in the most dangerous place of his life. On a place where he thought nobody could tell him what to do. Nobody can tell me what to do. Nobody's going to boss me around. I'm a Canadian, and I have rights, and I have freedoms. I can do what I want, when I want. I can say what I want, when I want to say it. I can be what I want, when I want to be it. I'm telling you, you're in a dangerous place. There's milk, there's mush, and there's meat. How many want some more meat tonight? Let me just give it to you. Let me give you the real, real stuff. And by the way, I love to being convicted. I love it. It means I don't have to be stupid much longer. I love to know I'm going the wrong direction. You know, these new cars talk to you when you don't want them to talk. I've wanted to just take the car and pull every light out of this thing. You need oil. Your tire's flat. Your this is that. You need to change the oil. You need to this. You need to that. And it's not, it's, not, it's not even the car. That's just my wife in the car. Come on, everybody. Help me out tonight. Hallelujah. Watch this. 2 Samuel chapter 11 and verse 5. It says this. She conceived. 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 5. Everything that's done when you don't have any authority in your life, there's no submission in your life, nobody can tell you what to do, you're going to conceive something that you don't want. You're going to give birth to something that you can't bear. You can't give deliverance to. It's always a dilemma from a woman when she's pregnant and it begins to go over the date. Now, she begins to fall apart. If she's 10 days over date, she is a mess. Come on, everybody, let's get real. She is a mess. If it turns into 15 days after her delivery date, her husband is in great danger. His life is in danger. There's all kinds of complications. If you go so long, the woman isn't physically able to give birth to that child. Every time you conceive on a roof, it will bring you heartache that you can't bear. I'm going to say this tonight. Someone say, go ahead. No counsel, no money will bring that heartache away. Only God can. Now, I need to just bring it to you. Can I just bring it tonight? Hallelujah. You know, if you have, if you have prisoners, remember, you have to feed them. Wave your hand and say, no prisoner tonight, Pastor. No prisoners tonight. Hallelujah. Just shoot me with your best shot. There we go. 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 18. Look what it says here. The child died. Anything that's done in rebellion, done in pride, anything, it'll die. It'll die. God can't bless something from a rooftop. He can't bless something that's wrong. Now, nobody's preaching this way again. They're giving you the five steps to have a happy, blessed life. And everyone's depressed because no one's bringing the truth anymore. We need someone to say, tell me the truth. Hallelujah. Come on, how many want to know the truth? 
Because truth will just set you free. Because what you'll do is you'll adjust yourself. You'll see danger. You go, oh, 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 oh. do that with me, everybody. Oh, no. How many have been hit hard enough? You go, oh, 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 oh. do it with me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. Oh, God, help me. I don't want to go through that again. Is there anybody here that's went on a trail you shouldn't have went on? And God told you not to go on it. Your wife told you a hundred times not to go on it. But you went on anyway. And you never want to go on that trail again. I call it the hungry bear trail. The child, 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 18, it just died. Then there's incredible dialogue that God gives. It's found in 2 Samuel chapter 12, 7 and 8. Look what God said. I anointed you. I anointed you. I delivered you. I gave you your master's house. I gave you the house of Israel. I gave you Judah, which means it's God that's put a song in your heart. The joy and the peace in your life is because of God Almighty. And God's saying, I even put a song in your heart. How many of you have had a song in your heart when you should have been crying? You shouldn't have went on. You shouldn't have believed anymore. But God gave you a supernatural song, the house of Judah in your heart. Put your hands up right now. You had a song through your trial. You had a song through your brokenness. I gave you Judah, a song. And then God says this. You were the king. The city's named after you. I gave you all these things, but look what it says in verse 8 of 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 8. Look what the word says. And I would have given you much more. I would have given you much more. Now I need somebody to grab a hold of this tonight. And how many want to operate in the much more? Hallelujah. Much more than your drive, much more than your connection, not much more than your education. God is saying to every one of us, be careful on the roof because I have what? Much more for you. Much. Second Samuel chapter 12 and verse 13. Here's what David did. Here's the most important thing tonight. God, I sinned. I, I, I just sinned. I, 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 God, I sinned. I just sinned. It's my fault. Someone say it right now. Your, 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 your teeth won't fall out and your lips won't stop working. Say, I'm wrong. Hallelujah. Let me just tell you, married men, that gets you back in the bedroom and off the couch. Say, I'm wrong. Come on, everybody. I'm wrong. Hallelujah. I'm wrong. Say it with me. I'm wrong. That will save your life. Here is this king who's about ready to lose everything because he thought he was above the word of God. He thought he was above the house of God. I've seen so many people think they're smarter than church. How many know the dummies? And their life just goes down and down and down. How many have seen it before? From mess to another mess to a worse mess to a worse mess. If you're out of the house of God, everybody online look at me, you're out of the will of God. And it's going to get worse and worse. I, I, I answer to God. Yeah, and he says, be planted in the house. He says it all through the word of God. It gets interesting. It says this in 2 Samuel 12, 13. It says, the Lord has taken away your sin. Say it with me tonight, the blood. Come on, someone say the blood. The blood of Jesus takes away your sin. Then it goes on to say, you're not going to die. I want you to say it out loud. I'm not going to die. Uh, no, say it. I am not going to die. Hallelujah. Now, here's what happened in the natural. When you're on the roof of pride and arrogance, what God intended for you will be cut in half. Huh? Because Israel was never one again 
tribes were divided. Hear this tonight. I'm warning you. They were divided. David never did the more. He never walked in the much more because in his heart, he knew he was supposed to be submitted to God and he chose not to be and he became an answer to himself, a voice to himself. He became a conscience to himself. And the child died. And everything fell apart. And the kingdom was divided. And he struggled all the days of his life when he should have been taking territory. He was fighting for what he had lost. Hello. Here's your chance. I need someone to help me. It's not a racial slur towards me. Someone just yell at me. Go ahead, white boy. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody yell, go ahead, white boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. What do you have to do? If you've been on a roof and everything's falling apart, 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 20 says to you, first thing you have to do is get off the ground. Get off the ground. Oh, my life, and I did this. How many know the people that want to tell you all their sins? And they want to tell you all the things. And how many have heard the show 100 times? I had this wonderful guy I had been witnessing to. He's from India. And God's beginning to move. He says, he says to me, and I'm not making fun. He goes, oh, Pastor, everybody in my family is talking about Jesus. I said, I know you're dead. It's over. He surrounded you. God's doing miracles. Oh, I don't, how do, oh, no. Pastor, can I meet with you and talk into that box? Huh? I said, what? He says, you know, you, don't you sit in a box and then you tell all the bad things you've done? I said, oh, no, 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 no. The people I deal with are in boxes or jail. And they're telling me all the bad things they didn't do. I had this, this guy come to me and he said, he said, Pastor, Pastor, pray for me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was just with my friend. I need somebody to yell at me right now. We'll call him Leroy. I said, Leroy. I didn't steal it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was just with my friend. I said, wow, this is so exciting. Do you know where you stole it? They have you on camera. And then how many know I know how to talk to guys? And they'll identify you because there's nobody as ugly as you. I need somebody in this place to help me out. Come on, everybody. They know it's you. Hallelujah. And not only that, then when you went to the pawn shop to sell it, they got you on camera. And not only that, your best friend just turned you in. He got to him before you did, so he didn't have to do it much time. <laughs> Pastor Shot, how come you're so street smart? Because I used to have friends like you. Help me, everybody. Hallelujah. I used to have friends like you. He said, what should I do? I said, let's call your parole officer right now. What should I say? I did it. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. We call the parole officer. It's right after church. I'm with Liar. And... I said, let me talk to him first. And I said, you know, he did it again. He said, I've been really concerned about him. And they said if he did it again, he's going to do 10 years. But you know what? Could you help us out? I really like the guy. He's got a good heart. And when I brought the facts to him, he repented. He said, you know, Pastor, the judge guy and our friends, and if he's with you, 
help me somebody in this place, yell at me somebody. If he's with you, I think we can work something out. And he was overhearing this. And I looked at him and I said, I don't know if I want to be with you. Come on, everybody, help me out in this place. Come on, somebody, let's get crazy. I don't know if I want to hang with you, have you be one of my posse. I'm not sure about all this. I'm not sure. I'm a busy man. And I said, I'm really not mad you did it. I'm mad you lied to me. He, he goes, Pastor, I'm just so afraid. I'm just so afraid. All I've been my whole life is a fool. That's all I've ever been is a fool. My dad died in prison. My grandfather died in prison. And all we are is a bunch of lying fools. I said, we all are fools. We're all liars. But we go to the king, and he rules on our life. And we do what he says. And he uses our life. I need somebody to quit sitting there and looking like little angels. Come on, everybody. And then we're all sinners. We all fall short of the grace of God. We all blow it. We all have attitudes. We all are mouthy. We're all prideful. But we go to the God of grace. And we say to him, I don't want this outcome. He got off. He got off. And I said, I gave my word. I'm going to follow you, dude. I'm telling you. You think that prison guard, come on, everybody, help me out to, right now. My name is Pastor Warden Schott. And this guy turned, became a great businessman. God gave him a beautiful wife. God gave him children. See, he thought he could get away with things. But when he realized he couldn't, then God could move in his life. I want to say some good news to you today. If you would say on the, if you're on a roof today, you're prideful today, say, I'm getting down. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Someone just help me right now. Say, I'm a scared of heights. David said, I've sinned. The word of the Lord said, I've taken away your sin. You're not going to die. 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 20. The first thing you have to do is get off the ground. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't do weird penance. Don't be all down and I'm no good and I, I'm worthless and I'm the same as dirt. No, you're just one of us. You're probably a member of Glad Tidings. Welcome home. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Then it says this, he washed. What does that mean? He changed his countenance. I need somebody to put a smile on their face and say, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Come on, somebody. I am the property of God Almighty. Hallelujah. He's got a future for me right now. I can walk with a swag from heaven because of what Jesus has done for me. I don't have to have my countenance down, my head down. I don't have to lay in the dirt. I need to wash my face. Hallelujah. Stay with me right now. I'm a child of God. Come on, somebody in this place. Hallelujah. I'm going to heaven. Hallelujah. I'll sing a little heaven song. You want to hear it? Heaven is a wonderful place. Filled with glory and grace I'm going to see my Savior's face Heaven is a wonderful place Your turn Don't you know that Heaven is a wonder I'm going to heaven How many are going to heaven? Glory to God My sins are forgiven I'm not going to die Hallelujah You're going to wash yourself The typology here is Wash yourself in the word of God What does God say about you? Number three, 2 Samuel 12, 20, fresh anointing, a fresh anointing. I talked to a federal judge today, not in regards to any of you, just thought I'd clear the air so we wouldn't have people paranoid. All right. Pastor Shirley, you don't fear. 
Fear not. Fear not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elaine, get worried. Uh, here we go. And for years, he had to put people in prison. He's retired now. And for years, he had to sentence people to their final destination. It was hard. And we're close. He's been a great mentor to my son. He's a great man. And here's what he said. Pastor, there's a fresh oil on you. Come on, somebody help me out. Uh, he said it to me. Hallelujah. Baby, don't, don't, don't be staring at me. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. He said, man, you're 65, but you're, you're talking and walking. I've watched you preaching at that great church. You're walking like you're 45. Help me, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was a little offensive because I think I look more 35. Ha! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But what happened is that anointing will put a freshness on your life. It'll put a shout in your doubt. Ooh. It'll put a praise in your problem. You want me to bring you to the hood with me? Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. It will do something. Get, the, get under the anointing. Get in the presence of God. Begin to worship God. Begin to thank God, and there'll be a new oil, and God will extend your days. I, this isn't right to ask, but what was wrong with this grandma here? What was wrong with her tonight? She, she, she's not 20. She's not 30. She's not 40. She's not 50. Help me, somebody. I'm not going to say the dirty word, but she's not those things. And I saw her just dancing before the Lord. One time she did a quick little, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it, there was such a joy on her. I just wanted, Jody and I just did a little Whoa, what is going on here? And she just looked at these other young ladies and said, what is wrong with you girls? Come on, somebody. That joy of the oil. It'll make your bones young, your, your speech young, your, your faith young. You don't say, oh, I'm just too old to go to the mission field. How many would rather die on the mission field than die in a senior citizen's place with COVID? Help me, everybody. Hallelujah. Someone told me about retirement center. I'm not going to say the name of it, but here's what they said to me. Oh yeah, that's where they send everybody to die. Listen, let me look in the camera. I'm going to find out where it is. I am not visiting you there. You have to come here. We'll get a van and bring you to glad tidings. Hallelujah. But I am not stepping into that place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many need to put some oil on yourself? Hallelujah. Come on, put your oil on your marriage. I'm flirting with my wife. You can't be flirting on the platform with the cameras going on. Hallelujah. You're going to cause your kids to have heart attacks when they see it. I told Jody, and I said, I just want let you know this, baby. I, I completely understand. I need some men to just fold your arms right now. I completely understand that you have trouble sleeping at night thinking about me. I need some men with me right now. Come on, just fold your arms. Say, I got the same problem, Pastor. The exact same problem. That oil. Did you know Pastor Gordon went up to the Arctic and she preached 10 times in a few days? She wasn't going, oh, 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 oh what's my name? Oh, 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 where's the bathroom? Oh, oh no. She, and all of them are calling me. They say, oh, we had a glory time, Pastor. Oh, when can she come again? I said, I'll send her and Pastor Jody in next week. I need a little free time and space. But the anointing was there. Come on, everybody. How many want some oil on this house and oil on your family and oil on your life? What did he do? He was smart enough to get off the ground, to wash himself, get a new countenance. And get in the anointing. Next thing he did, listen. He changed his clothes. My sons, when they're young, they never, ever, ever wanted to change their socks because they had a favorite pair. How many of your husbands have that pair? And Jody Ann, they wouldn't take it off. 
And Jody Ann would find out what they're hiding the socks, and she'd wash them in the night. You got to change your clothes. I said, you got to change your clothes. We'll try it again. You got to change your clothes. Even if you don't look good, put it on and say this with me. Mm, you look sharp. Come on, everybody. Do it with me right now. Oh, you look fine. I, all the African-American churches in the U.S. would always have me come and preach. Okay. Just, I don't know why. And, and I, they said, you're the only one that can preach to an organ. Because, you know, white guys can't clap. They can't chew gum and walk. Come on, everybody. Let's get honest right now. And I, 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 I just start preaching. Don't jump on that thing. I'll show somebody. They don't even know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and get in that organ right now. Uh -huh. And I, 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 I would just able, and Joe, I'll just teach you how to do it. I, I'll just say, well, I'll just say something, and I'll show you how to play it right now. I'll get it and play it for you if you don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what I, I, I decided I'm going to do? I, 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 I'm going to. Yeah, you just give a little, uh-huh. Come on, somebody, I'm talking to you tonight. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. That's good, Joe, hallelujah. And then you just do a little run. I'll show you how to do it like, praise the Lord. Oh, what was that about? Hallelujah. And I saw this grandma, I'll never see this wonderful black grandma. And she just, she took her hairpiece thing off. And I'm preaching, she just threw it off. She said, I don't care if he's white, he's anointed. Come on, somebody, help me right now. This white boy is anointed of God. God him, brought him to this place to shake it up. He's going to put a little dance on the house. Hallelujah. You put your right Holy Ghost foot in. You put it out. You put it in. Somebody help me and you shake it all about. Thank you, Joe. That was very pleasant. I really appreciate that. Hallelujah. Let me finish. Here tonight, when I say I'm going to finish tonight, that means I'm going to finish tonight. You, you got to change your clothes. Sir, if you have the same shirt on you wore in the eighth grade and you're 50, please change your clothes. Girl, if you have the same hairdo you had when you're 21 and you're 60, Change your clothes. Come on, somebody. At least coma to the other side. Hallelujah. Do something. Hallelujah. Everybody here, you need to say this. How do you change your clothes? What do you do? You put on a garment. God's with me. Come on, everybody. The hand of God is on me. Put it on. God is going to make a way where I didn't have a way. You got to change your clothes. Somebody change your clothes. Glad tidings is the place to be. The glory of God is in the house. The prophetic's in the house. The song of the Lord is in the house. Holy prophecy is in the house. Praise is in the house. Missions in the house. Hallelujah. You got to change your clothes. Change it. Change it right now. Just do it with me. Rip, 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 rip. Put some on quick. Come on, somebody. We got it. What did he do? He got off the ground. Someone say, got off the ground. He washed himself. He got in the anointing. Changed his clothes. And then it says this. He went to the house of the Lord and worshiped. I, I, I want to let you know, I'm going to be really honest. I have been knocked out for the count. I'm going to be honest with everybody. I have been crushed, broken, betrayed. I even said to myself, self? Yes. You know, you have the right to be crazy. No, you have the right to be bitter. You have the right to hate them. I don't hate your mom. You, you, you have the right. But then I went into the house of God. I was just full of love. I... I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be just straight up. There was times when I was a young man, I wasn't going to make it. And I came into the house of God. All my doubt, all my unbelief, all my fear, 
left me in his house. And I thank God for those intrusive Holy Ghost grandmas. They're like a pack. And they get a scent. And they got the Vince scent. We we'll tried that again. They got the Vincent. That's my legal name, Vincent. Thank you. That was deep. I still don't get it. Oh, oh, all right. And they just got a Holy Ghost scent. And we'd have prayer meetings. And these grandmas would lick each other. And here's what I thought I heard him say. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Here we come to get this young man. And then they'd surround me, about five of them. Two of them had wigs. One of them always had a nylon all the way down to the ground. Another one's colorblind, and she had different color shoes. And they just glory, 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 glory. And I'd scoot over somewhere, and they, ah, 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 here we come, here we come. And I'm going, I just want to be backslidden. I just don't want to... Ah. I don't want these ladies praying for me. I just want to be left alone and throw my life away. But I went to the house of God, and those ladies, we'd have the prayer meeting, they'd hug, and they'd surround me. And I'd make a little move, the right, and all of them would go together. And then they'd come closer. And one of them was liberated. She wore lipstick and too much. And they'd just come at me. And then they go, oh, hallelujah, ah, oh, glory, oh, 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 hallelujah. I'm just, oh, oh, no, oh, God, oh, Lord, I, I repent. And they go, oh, 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 oh. Mildred, Mildred, oh, 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 oh. God's hand's going to you, oh. And the other one goes, you're going to be a prophet of the Most High God. I don't want to be, I don't want to be anything. I want to be drunk. Come on, everybody. Don't be lying on me. Oh, you're lying on me. All oh, you just little halos. Every one of you came in here tonight, halo. You did have it crooked. And then they'd start prophesying. And I'd be trembling under the presence of God. By the time they were done with me, here I am, Jesus. Whatever you want the answer is yes before you ask it happened in the presence of God I'm going to tell you a, a story that really hurt me and I'm not bulletproof but my best friend didn't have the skill set that God had entrusted me with, and I felt sorry for him. So I took a group of people, started a church. That lasted three months. And they all came back, and I brought him my staff and gave him way more money than he has, I should have, and just loved him and put him over things and let him do his thing. And then he decided that he hated me. I didn't do anything to him. I really, I, I didn't, I know I didn't for a fact. And then we, we go to India and he has a prophecy and the leadership say, sit down, that is not God. We don't play games here in India. This is life and death. And I come and prophesy and have the word of the Lord and signs and wonders. And, I'm just, and I just see him just sitting there. I hate you. I hate you. And I was really hurt because I'd do anything for him. I was the only child, and we were really close. We made a lot of money playing basketball, two on two, and betting people. We gave it to the Lord. I mean, we tithed off it, so it wasn't a bad thing. We just destroy them. He was a great basketball player. I was better. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, not, I don't, I'm not working on humility tonight. That's next week when I teach. But, but I could just ball. You know, our staff, our staff thinks, oh, that chubby pastor, he can't basketball. He can't even play basketball. He looks like one. 
I go into the gym. This is the truth. How many will be a witness right now? Hallelujah. Josh, you have it on film. And, and the, the white brother went in there, and I just bounced the basketball, went up off the backboard and in. And then I went to the foul shot, and they all went, oh, yeah, that was lucky. And I went, pop. I mean, it just... And I went to my wife like that. You and me, baby, you and me. I still, uh, I still, I can't see my shoes, but man, I can still, I can still shoot the basketball. And I went to the top of the key, and they're just going, no way. Everybody help me right now. Pop, come on, help me somebody, hallelujah. Pop, like that. And then I went and took my wallet, and I threw it down, I said, let's bet. Come on, everybody, help me this place, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? God restored me in the house from the brokenness of my friend. God restored me in the house. In his presence, in the house of God, I heard the Holy Spirit whisper to me, you want his friendship or do you want the anointing I have for you? The house saved my life. The house, when I look at you, I'm not counting heads. I'm looking. These are the people of God, and the people of God saved my life. And my wife and I love the people of God. You better hear this tonight. You've blown it. You've been on a roof. You've had seasons of knowing it all. You've had seasons of being prideful. You have seasons of being obstinate. Just wave your hand at me. I won't look at you. Come on. You have seasons when you're hard-hearted. Just wave your hand. You've had seasons when you just don't anything. You had seasons when you're stubborn. You had seasons when you're just mad to be mad. Get off the ground. Wash yourself. Get in the anointing. Change your clothes. And go to the house of God. And God will give you a Samuel. It's called Jedediah. God will give you a Jedediah. And what does that mean? It means the thing that God loves. That out of your life, a Jedediah will come from your mistakes, from your failures, from your brokenness, God will allow you to give a Jedediah, and God will say, this is the reason you're alive, because I love this in your life. Stand with me tonight in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Pastor Kay Gordon is coming. Give her a hand as she comes, please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, we heard a message tonight. And then, you know, God really wants every person to experience that freshness of the anointing. Hallelujah. It's time, folks. And I've learned when God begins to move in a certain way, we got to move with him. we got to cooperate with him. And you will find he'll give you something in your heart. Oh, that is so wonderful. That lifts every burden. That gives you a joy and a strength and a power to live for God. Hallelujah. I feel it tonight. I feel a special anointing in this place. It's an anointing of joy, an anointing of victory, an anointing that puts the past behind us and we reach for the things that are ahead in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I, I'm going to do something different tonight. I'm going to ask everyone that wants that fresh anointing to just come and stand at the altar. And we're going to ask Pastor Shad and Pastor Jody Ann to come and lay hands on you. Hallelujah. I want what they got tonight. You know, different times, God does different things. That's it. Come on. Just obey God. 
and God will open the windows of heaven on you. God will pour out a fresh anointing. Oh, hallelujah. Let's praise him for a moment. Let's bless his name. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to heaven. And let the blessing of God flow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We believe that anointing of God is flowing. It's flowing. Oh, let it flow upon you. Open, open your hearts, open your mouths, open your spirits to the living God. Sanduribi baba baba variando. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ribi banda. Get free in the Holy Ghost. Just do it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The power and the presence of God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the power of God. By the anointing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah! <laughs> Woo! There's joy in the anointing. There's victory in the anointing. Hallelujah! A mighty, mighty touch of heaven. Rabababandaya Ramasando. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Oh, let's believe God. Let's believe. Hallelujah. Fresh anointing on the Lord. By the power and the anointing of God. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing on the Lord. Fresh anointing.
just with me right now. Just lift your hands with me. We just lift our hands to you. Oh God, there's none like you. Hallelujah, there's none like you, Jesus. Hallelujah, begin to lift your voices. There's none like you. Oh, la mana, there's none like you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing to you a new song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Move in this place, God. Hallelujah, this is holy ground. Move in this place. Hey, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Sharabakulate. Hallelujah. You're online right now. He's turning sorrow into songs. God is turning your sorrow into a song. A song that never could be birthed through the complacency your life but he's turning this house into a house of songs on purpose by our wills I will bless the Lord Woo. Supposed to be the pastor. Hallelujah. I love you, sweetheart. Gary, get behind my wife. Gary, Gary, get behind my wife. <laughs> You're the greatest. What? You're just the greatest. You're the one, most wonderful sound in my ear. I used to hate it. <laughs> You're a wonderful sound. You saved me from much dumb. <laughs> Hallelujah. I bless you, sweetheart. Thank you. Amen. I just bless you. Thank you. I bless you. We will soar together and sing together, and this house will soar together and sing together. This house will change from sorrow to a song. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. The years of tears are gone. Hallelujah. The years of tears are gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you're going to have to learn right now. Just begin to sing to the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. 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 This sound, hallelujah, will be like no other sound. Hallelujah. There will be a new sound in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This sound will be heard in the homes of sorrow this song will be heard come on keep singing it'll be heard for pastors that have given up this sound will be heard by missionaries that have forgotten their calling hallelujah there's a sound hallelujah glory glory just put it on oh glory glory hallelujah this is our inheritance, hallelujah. Ula manana masante. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, we can never repay you, Lord, but we're going to praise you the best we can. We're going to praise your name. Let's just come in a spirit of, of agreement to all the trustees and all the beautiful people. <laughs> the fourth wave. People are overwhelmed. Mon pa shops who came to this wonderful nation and worked 25 years, seven days a week are losing everything. That's a fact. There is going to be a sound of tears you've never heard before. And they weren't bad people. And I'm going to say it softly. There's going to be a flood of people that are dried up where they're at. It's a fact. 
you wonderful people. You almost forgot what the presence of God is, but you couldn't because it was so rich. You couldn't forget. We don't have a regime. We have under shepherds under Jesus called Pastor Vince and Jody Ann. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah. That's what we are. If it goes bad, it's my fault. If it goes good, God gives us the credit. Huh. <laughs> How many understand? Glory to God. But what we're going to do, everything we're doing is on purpose. David on purpose said, bring the ark back. It's on purpose. It's not mystical. It's on purpose. Bring the ark back. Sunday, guess what we're going to do? Bring the ark back. Hallelujah. The lid, the lid is shaken off. It's not completely off, but it's off. I, 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 think, I think Sunday was kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Really close. And I don't want to... I don't want to flatter the worship team, but I'm telling you, up, up here, their spirits are right, you guys. It's, their, their spirit is right. <laughs> Jerome shall not have a nervous breakdown with me. On the platform Sunday, and I said, oh, oh you got to sing this song. He said, well, the band doesn't know it. I said, I don't care. Poor Jerome. I said, learn to sing it. I don't care what key you sing it in. And Joe, just play. And the glory of the Lord swept in this place. When have we seen dancing in the aisle? And say it with me, the dipping diaper baby. Come on, everybody. Holly, the dipping diaper COVID baby. Just dip, dip, dip. As we close tonight, let's do three dips. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. The dipping diaper baby. Just, and then when they stop the worship, they, the baby just went, uh, 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 you, you bad. And was it, was, what nationality was that baby? Because he yelled at you in Filipino. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, let's just take a moment and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Why don't you take us out with some joy? Hallelujah. Planted in the house of the Lord, you'll flourish in the courts of our God. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our out. Let's go. Hallelujah.